Hello friends, this video on acids, bases and salts part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at the next naturally occurring indicator that is turmeric. So turmeric, so turmeric is a very common thing which is often used in preparing food. So it is something which you often find in your kitchen and this acts as a natural indicator. So the solid turmeric looks somewhat like this. The appearance is somewhat like ginger but it is yellow in color and in the powdered form it looks like this. So a very common ingredient for a lot of uh, food items which are being prepared. So let's see how do we use turmeric to act as an indicator. So with turmeric also we uh, first create turmeric paper like how we created uh, the litmus paper. So here also we will take some filter papers and then these filter papers were given deposits of the turmeric paste. So how do we prepare turmeric paste? Take some turmeric powder, mix it with little bit of water until you get a paste and then put that paste on these filter papers. Dry the filter papers properly and what do you obtain? You obtain yellow colored filter paper, yellow colored turmeric paper and then you cut the paper in st uh, thin strips and these strips then act as the turmeric paper and we can use them also in a very similar way how we were using the litmus paper. But now we will see how the color changes in case of turmeric paper. So let us look at the turmeric test. Now the turmeric paper remains yellow in acidic solution. So in acidic solution there is no change in color. However, when it is put into the basic solution, it becomes dark red. So this is a mistake. It should be basic. So when in acidic solution, it will remain yellow. But when put in a basic solution, it will turn into dark red. So looking at this color difference, we can decide whether the solution is acidic or basic in nature. Now, the question that arises in your mind, what about the neutral solution? Because in neutral solution also, the color will remain yellow, the color will not change. So how do we distinguish between acidic solution and neutral solution? So let's see that. So with neutral solution, there will be no change in color. Now, when I say no change in color, what I mean is no matter whatever is the color of the paper, it will remain unchanged. So to distinguish between acidic and neutral, what do we do? We take this strip of uh, turmeric paper, which is half red and half yellow. So see, the one which you had earlier dipped into a basic solution, it has turned dark red on one end. So we put the same strip into an acidic solution. So when you put this into acidic solution, what happens? It turns yellow once again. So when I say it turns yellow, the red portion also turns yellow in acidic solution. But when you put the same strip in neutral solution, what happens? It remains the same. So it will still be half red and half yellow when it is put into a neutral solution. So when you have to decide whether a particular solution is acidic or neutral, what you can do is you can use the same strip which has first been put into a basic solution and then check it in the acidic and neutral solution. So that will tell you which solution is acidic and which one is neutral. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.